Hey, orange one here. So we are in a procedurally generated town here that I found due to if we go to our quests. Um, I got a quest basically for this place from another procedurally generated town. So we've got a couple more towns and I think that means we got some more like tinkers and whatnot. So we went to co come here to get the electrical oven, I think. Travel to cash and cook at the electrical oven. So we're going to do that. So, go ahead and go over. I think that that's this right here. Yep. Uh, we're going to eat that forge. Yes. Oh. Interesting. Okay, we got a good amount of experience there. That's actually pretty good, substantial. So, um, let's also have a look at our other quest. So that, I think now they'll be happy with me if I go to Kamapur, but they want me to go to the Sacred Nomad here, and then return here. So I don't know where the Sacred Nomad is, but we should be able to mark it here. Oh, actually, hold on. There was a, I think, Ruins with Becoming Nooks. Yes, that, I think, is related to one of the things. I saw that. I It popped up after one of these quests. We got one of them. So... I think that, I'm not sure which one, I think that that must be, yeah, the Ivory Eric. We gotta travel there, and it has a Becoming Nook, so. Pretty good destination to have. I think that this must be it, right? Ivory Eric. Oh, have I already been there? Have I already been to this place? It's building it, so I don't think I have. Um, hello. Okay, there's my little widget, so we got a little light. That's good. Yeah, let's do a little auto-explore, see what we find. Oh, cud. Let's see what you got here for me. And there, procedurally generated chaos. Oh, it looks like there's a mercurial, so we gotta be careful around that. And it looks like a couple holes. Oh. Where, where are we shooting at? Snapjaws? A feeder? Four brushed fangs, so I'm pretty sure they're like vampires or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous going and standing near that hole in the ground. This can totally kill you if you're not careful. If you fall down them, it's not good. Let's just say that. Uh, luckily, though, there wasn't anything right by it that was going to make us fall in it, so I felt pretty safe. Oh, that's... Hold on. Yeah, I got the fire suppression system on, which is annoying for a number of reasons. But the primary one being the worst. Being that it messes up my numbers for all of my moves that I've like learned over like hours of playing with this character. So yeah. Oh, yonder bush. It wasn't a mercurial, it was a yonder bush. Okay. Sends you yonder. That's why it's called <laughs> yonder bush. Pretty funny. So this apparently has there's a becoming nook in here somewhere. So I don't know. It's probably we have to go inside of it, but I'm kind of surprised that we haven't. Uh... Okay, there's a couple of yonder bushes over here that we're gonna have to clear out. I don't know if they're like hiding underneath the trees or what. Hello. Okay. Yeah. There's definitely more yonder things going on. Okay, there's something laying down those guys in here. Oh, there's what? Polyhedral rings. That sounds interesting. Definitely gotta take that. Not familiar with that item. It sounds very nice. Very fancy. Wait, what? Okay. Something just got killed by something there. I haven't heard anything about Widget getting killed, so we're fine. He will give me a message if he gets killed, I'm pretty sure. So don't be too concerned, he's not right next to us. Side by side, going on adventures, you know. You know how we do. Our trusty robot. What's this? A miner's helmet? Eh. You gotta inspect those careful things. Those things carefully sometimes. Um... 
don't think that we've gotten the quest done. It's kind of weird. Um, did I have to like do something here? Yeah, I think I had to cook something here, right? What was it that they needed me to do? Play oven. There was some sort of oven around here. Oh gosh, this is gonna be fun. Trying to find the oven. Oh man, I should have been paying closer attention. That's not an oven. Yeah, this is gonna be maybe a little bit of a pain to find. <laughs> gonna have to cut down some trees. Um, it wasn't in here, I don't think. No. There's also... oh! <gasps> you know, this means... We could have the Becoming Nook in here. Yep. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. What do we have here? Dermal plating, that's pretty good. Um I will I will definitely get that if I can. Can I install that? I don't think I can. I would have to uninstall things. I would have to uninstall three points. The fire suppression system, if I can get rid of that. Oh, I need I think I need another one for the uh, dermal plating. I mean, I could get something else, and then it doesn't kind of mess me up so much. Get the air current microsensor. For now. Hold on, did I install it? No, I didn't. Never mind. Um, yeah, I don't think that we're going to be able to get any of this. Oh, I could get that installed. I think that gives me more DV, now that I use it, really. So, whatever. Um, interestingly enough, though, that gives us access to an area that we actually haven't been in yet. Which is... yeah, I'm wondering if maybe the oven is here. Because we're not seeing any... I haven't seen any oven yet. Oh, here we go. Here's the oven. Um... Can I play oven? Do I have? To, I guess they don't have a special meal here. I just need to cook anything there. I don't know. The procedural nature is kind of weird. Yeah, I can cook anything. Hey, okay, that leveled up our friend. Um, I kind of want to just go back to those villages. Yeah, one of them was here. This was the destination for one of the quests. Um, where was the dude, though? I've forgotten. They were like, one of these... It's kind of weird. So it's a village, basically, of, like, pigs, basically. <laughs> yep, here you go. Yay! Even more experience. Oh, a structure... Oh, homo electric... Wrist warmer, that's kind of interesting. Um... There's a bunch of leg legendary shoemakers that I can learn about. I mean, I'm kind of curious about where they are. So I got some information about where some shoemakers were, apparently. <laughs> can I, like, look at that? Oh, it actually tells you. Interesting. I have to read though to get the effect. Um, did I do that to this one though as well? Nice. Okay, so now I've learned about some merchants. I think that they're the six day stilts merchants though, so that's kind of unfortunate. I mean, how can you know though, right? So I think that there was one other quest that we were working on. What was it? Um. We have to go to Cam Ripper. Okay, where is that? Um, is it a Salomon? Yes. Kayakoya. Okay. Um, so that must be here, right? Oh no, I'm lost. Maybe lost. We're like right by this place. 
I guess we're just gonna have to roll through these guys real quick. Okay, they're getting a number of attacks, but they're so weak, these guys, honestly. Like, my companion could take them out. 100% could take them out. Really easy. Ooh, Forgotten Ruins. Oh, this could be a good place. I mean, I kind of want to just complete the quest, though, if I'm completely honest. Though, I do think I should probably come back here. You know? Yeah. Some of the villagers are getting wrecked. <laughs> I can't even keep track of who's there, honestly. Oh. Yeah, I think that my companion's taking out most of them because I'm like not even watching. <laughs> That's why it's nice to have a friend. Um Am I on yeah, on there, okay. Go to place. Oh man. Are you the dude? No. Yeah, this is a village of slugs. Just a bunch of spitting slugs. And they're fine. They don't bother you or anything. Really peaceful, and they unfortunately live in an area that you have to swim through, so it's kind of annoying. But the kudzu seem to be actually kind of friendly in here. It's weird. Oh, there's also the Dromad Merchant right here. I think this place had also a tinkerer or something like down here. Yeah, this is their apothecary look. He's the skunk. That was pretty cute. You know? Yeah, laugh when you can. I can't find the elder. I'm gonna have to take a break and continue this recording another time. Sorry, I'll, I'll see you guys. Okay, sorry about that. What were we doing? I think we were questing. It's it's actually like a completely different day now. <laughs> so just give me a minute to just kind of figure out where we were. We were going to go to we're in camp talk to the well elder worm. Is that what I'm trying to do right now? I'm trying to find the elder worm. Because I'm pretty sure that that's where we're at right now. Yeah, this looks like that's kind of like what we're doing right now, is that we're trying to find the Elder Worm. <laughs> oh, cud. You're so ridiculous sometimes. You gotta just enjoy the music and take a sit, uh, step back and every once in a while with this game. Gotta make you swim around and procedurally generate town with, like, tables there on fire and whatnot. Are you... No, you're not the one. You're just a regular old spitting slug. Okay, cool. Hopefully I can find the dude. I'm just curious if maybe I should just go through the wall a little bit here. Because it's just brine stock wall. That's like actually a super weak wall anyways. Where's this dude at? <laughs> Come on. I love how this game, like, we've, like, conquered, like, the known universe, but we, like, can't find a leader of a town. You know? <laughs> oh, there's Widget. Hello, Widget. Yeah, I get very, very, very confused going around these places. Um, the Elder? I just, like, do not see them. What do they even look like? I can't even remember, to be honest. But we're going to try and maybe go around here one more time. And then we're going to probably have to call it quits or something. Because this is kind of ridiculous. Spending so much time trying to find a single character, you know? Yeah. It'd be really nice if I could find the the leader here. Where's my widget guy? There he is. Okay. I was about to say, why is it dark? <laughs> I'm gonna try one more, one more pass through. Okay, never mind. Can't seem to find him. I think I'm gonna have to give up.
Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to just explore until we find him. Where are you? Where might you be? It's not one of these guys, is it? It's no, those are just regular old leeches. They always are like a special color. Hold on, what was that? No, it's just the arc scone, right? It's nothing special. Okay, here we go. You're the tinkerer. Oh, right, okay. Um, nothing that I want there, though. Shame. Though, I suspect the leader is just over to the side here somewhere, right? Is that what's what's happened? Yes. Okay, here here we go. Jeez. Um Yay. You're now my friend. Uh data disc, data disc. Um yes, we'll go with that. I don't know what the data disc is. But we'll I, oh it's an axe? That's weird. That's like not that good. Can I? I'm just curious. Can I see? You take the data disk. Well, apparently I took a bunch of data disks there, but I don't. I don't know. Oh, actually, here we go. Um, I don't think that we can learn that, can we? Yeah, that's a two. Um. Yeah, I don't think we can make anything besides maybe that, yeah. Okay, it looks like we did get some stuff here, but we can't actually learn any of it. <laughs> We're too dumb. Um, where did that warden go? You, right here. Um, can I talk to you? Oh, you, you, I can't actually trade with, okay. You're, um, hit by Dabak. Oh, yeah, I don't want to make another village matter or anything, so yeah, um, that's kind of where we're at right now. Just having an insane amount of thinkers and whatnot to check up on. It's a good problem to have, right? Yeah, I think that we've basically gotten everything in the game, and we could go to the end game um, and try and do that that way. And, <laughs> and actually do what we're supposed to do. Um, but where's the fun in that? Did I... I feel like... East and south of Gritgate. I think that that's... The thing that was just up here. Oh man, I lost... Lost track of myself. Oh, what killed you? Oh, I think my, my buddy must have killed him. Oh, hello. That was weird. Explosives, I'm assuming. So are seeds. They'll, they'll make you go flying. <laughs> At this level, I think that we're pretty safe. I would like to just jump... Oh, legendary snail person. Can I maybe talk to them? Um, are you... Yeah, you guys are all gonna be hostile to me. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Charge just to here. We don't need to charge all the way over there. I guess we're gonna jump. Or not. Oh, where did you go? There you are. Yeah, this is... I kind of want to see what the legendary dude is because he might have... Like, whenever you find a legendary, that's usually a good call to try and befriend them. Um... Maybe we can get a follower. Probably. We can't dominate them, so I don't really want to... I want, like, to find, honestly, another legendary, um... Let's see. Let's go Berserk. Let's go Flurry as well. Look at that. We just, like, to capture like, four dudes in, like, a second. Just keep on going. Don't mind me. Yeah, the legendary dude might... Might have some really good items for me. You never know. They can have like legendary gear and like becoming nooks and all kinds of craziness. 
Wait, were those snails, like, not hostile to me down there? Hold on, let's just, like, go back down there. If that was the case, then that's where the legendary dude is. Yeah, what is going on here? You're peaceful. The ones right here seem to be peaceful. Very strange. I mean, I'm intrigued. Don't get me wrong, but it is a little strange to see electric snails. A graffiti door. Nice. Um, there's a hole there. We just keep on exploring, maybe. Yeah, we do kind of lose our friend here and there, so we do have to be kind of careful about that. Um, you guys are. What are you attacking right now? I don't. I don't see what they're attacking. Um. Okay. I guess we're gonna have to finish these dudes off. I don't know where their legendary electric snail friend is. Friend, where are you going? My friend's like charging off, leaving me in the dark. <laughs> okay, I think that we could probably go down at this point. Or where are they? There, there we go. Okay. Whoa, hello. Oh, I think that maybe he, he ran out of charge for his, his radio-powered chem cell or something. And now he's just kind of doing it, you know? There are a lot of these guys. I feel like their leader is still around here somewhere. I'm just going to keep on hiding through them and see what we can find. I've got a good feeling that we'll be able to find the uh, the legendary dude. Oh my gosh, never mind. I should've known better. <laughs> right. Maybe... Yeah, we're lost actually, so I can't even go anywhere if I'd like to. Yeah, the legendary dude's not on the surface, we're gonna have to go down in there. But they do have like legendary loot. So let's go actually down there. We'll do that as our, our end here to the episode. Oh, you guys are still alive and hostile. Okay. Interesting. We're gonna go down because the dude's like guaranteed to be down here somewhere. The question is where are they most likely to be? We're kind of just going in the center here, which I would never normally recommend. But yeah, I think we got this. <laughs> I think we're, we're pretty safe here. Not feeling too endangered. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah, there's, there's a number of interesting enemies, though. Like, those dudes, I think they create, like, an acid in the air, don't they? Okay, yeah, I think that they are eating away at the walls now, <laughs> as we speak. Okay, good robot. You know, it, it really does make my life a lot easier having the robot here. He really just takes care of all of the annoying enemies. I'm just like, really, do I have to do this right now? Oh, is this... Um, okay. That's kind of weird. There's a seed spirit just in one of these. I didn't know that you could find them, like, in a rack like that. I thought you had to get them off the enemy. <laughs> I guess you learn something new every day, right? Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous not having my own light here. <laughs> Let's see if can I explore a little bit more to see maybe... There's gotta be some, some way down or out or something. Okay, um, Jilted Lover. Oh, I didn't even see that enemy there. <laughs> nice. Okay, anything else, maybe? No, nothing.
Okay, I think I'm gonna bounce out of here. We we we've been here long enough. This is kind of a bust. Oh, what was that? That was loud. Whatever it was. Okay, there's a lot of action going on on this tile. Oh my goodness. I think enemies got pushed onto tiles. Yeah, if that ever happens to you, if the game ever slows down, it means that it's very likely that enemies just got pushed from one tile to like another. And sometimes that happens to multiple enemies at once. Oh, here's Dromads. Okay, so that's part of the commotion. Oh, nice. And if it's Dromads, it's basically free loot right here. Especially seeing how they just <laughs> take that. I just need to make sure that I don't, like, make the Dromads mad. So I'm gonna let my cudgel friend kill him. You got this. Come on. Um, locked in a psychic battle? Hold on, you're... Who's psychically battling you? You ask about your location. Oh, nice. This guy told me where I am. Um, something that's got water in it. Okay. Um, maybe I should pick that up. I probably should pick that up. Better than what we're carrying around for cash. A lot, a lot more compact. That's for sure. That's, um... Let's get rid of some of our junk. It's, I know that we have so much stuff. I know a lot of this isn't necessarily junk per se, but we have to get rid of stuff. Uh, can I get rid of... Yeah, let's do that. And then maybe some of those chem cells as well, because I have so many of them. This is mostly the reason I just have too many of them. Okay. Cool, thank you for telling me about, about my location there, friend. I'm gonna go and see if we can go back to this place that had the Becoming Nook, because I bet that there is... Oh, there's no way down? Oh, there's a way down. We just haven't found it yet. I guarantee you there's a way down there. We just need to keep on exploring. And if there isn't a way down... I'll make a way down, because if this has a becoming nook on this surface, I've got a good feeling about what may be inside. Oh, there's a... Ooh, there's actually... You know what we can do? This is gonna be kind of funny. We're gonna... We're gonna take you, Drillbot. We're gonna make you jump down there. Nice. Oh, we only went, went down one floor. Okay, good to know. That should give me a good idea about what my surroundings are. Nice. And is there any way for me... There's a lot of turrets right there. Any way for me to get down here besides jumping in? I mean, if there's not, I'll jump in and it's fine. I would to know, you know? Okay, yeah. It's fine. This is like not that dangerous of a place. I think I'm going to end this here and then we'll continue on the next one. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.